My name's Libby. At the MAC I work as a teacher in ceramics. I'm an artist who works with predominantly ceramics, sometimes glass, um, mostly in clay though. And um, yeah, I'm a mum, that's a big job. But that's about sums it up. Yeah, sometimes I've, um, as a mother, um, having the children, sometimes I've not been able to engage in practicing art at all. I've had to focus on just being a mom. Um, but all the stuff that you learn being a mother, because you learn such a lot about um, what it means to love something wholeheartedly. Um, ferociously like a tiger you know you have that ferocity of dedication I think um, so fitting an artistic practice in around that has often been quite a juggle but at the same time as, as, as raising a family I've never been able to quell that um, passion for making things or, or, or expressing um, my perspectives through some sort of medium. I used to paint and paint huge, massive pictures before. I had to put that to one side when I started my family because they would get involved in that and that was, didn't work. <laughs> so I think it's meant looking at different mediums really and, and um, gathering lots and lots of information. You meet loads of people when you're raising a family and I've raised my family all over the world so meeting uh, parents in all those different cultures it means you're exposed to lots of different perspectives, lots of different mediums, lots of you find people fighting to express themselves in lots of different ways. So I think mothering has actually gone hand in hand with it. When when they were babies, it was so demanding physically. Um, it was really tiring, so um, because I've had eight kids, I, I, it was hard to fit anything else in and any sort of art practice I managed to engage in seemed very minimal and small and not very interesting. <laughs> but as they've grown older, a lot of my kids are dancers or they are very arty or one of the eldest is a chartered accountant, so you know, so they're not all um, into that kind of Thing. They're not all practicing art in some way, but but they've joined me in in that discovery of of um, playing with materials and playing with ways of expressing yourself and um, not being afraid to have an opinion that you want to present. So I think for me, it's been a fantastic opportunity to observe. Um, how we live in this world. We as human beings live here. And I get to see it through all these different people very close, very close up. I love it, honestly. I do love it. There's nothing I would resent about motherhood. I don't, you know, I, I hear lots of women, oh, how awful it is and childbirth and horrible. And I get, I'm sorry if it was like that. I get that. I do understand what a sacrifice it is, but there's, it's also, the most important thing I've done with my life. It's the one thing I can honestly look you in the eye and say I don't regret any of that. So yeah, finding a way to keep practicing art through that takes a hell of a lot of determination and courage and uh, yeah, um, not forgetting that that was my first love. And I always want to sort of somehow find a way to weave it in and, and carry it through. <laughs> you know, sometimes you get lost in the sort of jungle of motherhood. It's really absorbing because whenever your kids feel pain, you feel it more, you know. Um, but I think all of those um, emotional experiences are quite valuable. To be someone's mom is great. It's a beautiful thing and it will it will change you, you know, it will 
make you into somebody new does and also inform your practice as an artist but you really do have to cling to the dream you do have to kind of fight for it a bit Thank you.